I'll just keep on traveling home Driving down the lonely motorway Sun comes up on another day Imagining your tight but smiling face Not long now till I reach your doorstep I keep on moving Just take my time Cause you need me Safe at home my new witchy top that i've just got i ordered it from yours i did got them on an offer it was two 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 items for 25 pounds certain items not all of them i got this um which would have been perfect for today it's so witchy woo <laughs> i could change ivy said i should but i don't really want to i've got my starry top on and i feel witchy in that too um, so for the second one, there weren't any other tops that I liked, but they've got pyjamas and I thought, well, that's brilliant. I can get myself some new Christmas pyjamas because my others are getting quite old. So I ordered this. I thought I was getting the full set. <laughs> but when it came, it was only the top half. So I've just had to go back on. I don't I say had to. I could have just worn them with something it worn it with something else but i have just gone back on and ordered the bottoms that go with it <laughs> it's typical of me don't read the small print i might put my witchy top on tomorrow because i really like it Scary face. <laughs> stupid does, stupid does, they're funny cause they're true. Stupid does, stupid does, hope next time it's not you. Dex, <laughs> Dex <Gellington. laughs> Show us without pulling your gob open then. Take your fingers out of your mouth, close your mouth. Oh, you look decidedly dead. Right, come on, let's get you to your party. Oh.
everybody and happy Halloween from Spooky Sue. Yes, I realise I'm a complete and blooming barn pot. Don't worry, I am fully aware. I've come to sit in front of the Halloween tree to announce the winners of the giveaway. So uh, I've got a list of all of the people who've signed up to the mailing list and it's automatically numbered as <clears throat> as I've um, exported that from my mailing list place from MailChimp and uh, so then I've done the top line number one hasn't got anything in it anyone in it so I've done um, from two to 419 I think it was <laughs> it's in I've, I've screen captured it so that you can see me doing the random number generator so I've said select a number from two to 419 I think it was and then done that again to select my two winners and then gone back and cross-referenced that with the um with the spreadsheet of all of the different names on the mailing list so here's the footage of me um doing the selection thing Ivy had to teach me how to screen capture video <laughs> of me doing something on my phone <laughs> thank goodness for kids eh And the winners are 153 Evelyn Merkins. I think that's how I say it, or Merkins, I'm not sure, uh, from the US. So congratulations, Evelyn. And the second one is 326, which is Kristen Dodd, also from the US. So congratulations to you both. Now, um, I'm going to put a web, uh, an email address down here. It's the um, Green Lamb Kinyan email, which is kettleylamb at gmail.com. But I'll put the spelling down here as well. So if the two of you could email me from your email address that you signed up to the mailing list with, just so that I can verify it's you, and, uh, and email me with your home address or wherever you want me to send the box to. And then I'll get them out in the post. Toot sweet. So that's it, we're at the end of Vlogtober, I can't quite believe it, it feels like I only started yesterday. But the shawl is finished, it's a bit itchy actually. I'm a little bit hot, I think that's probably why. It's huge! Long enough to wrap round my neck twice and still have plenty of dangling bits at the ends. I was going to make tassels and things but then I decided when I'd sewn the ends in. I really quite like it just as it is so I can wear it sort of loose and floppy like this which is also very nice if I don't want it to be wrapped up too tightly so that's finished and the socks are finished the mitts the colour work mitts aren't finished but I'm doing so much on them every day or two I find I can't work on the chart for ages Because it makes my neck stiff and with every row being different I, you can't take your eyes off of it and memorize it so i just do a few rows and then i put it down and work on something else that i don't have to be looking at down at a chart for but yeah i'm uh, i'm thoroughly enjoying those now i'm into the swing with them and when they are uh, finished i will share them on an upcoming vlog or podcast so speaking of vlogs and podcasts I'm going to record something throughout November, just here and there. It might be a blog, vlog, it might be or two, and it might be a podcast, I don't know. Uh, I might do a bit of both. I've got lots of Christmassy things coming up. I've got the Christmas Day boxes in the shop now, and there will be a shop update coming um, within the next few days of all the Christmas yarns and they are very excitingly going to be not in the Etsy shop but on my own website. So yeah, Johnny has been working really hard in the background developing me uh, my own online shop. So we're going to trial that and see how we get on with it with the Christmas update. Uh, I've got the final instalment of the um, advent to get sorted and get out. I'm well underway with the prep for that, so that'll be my first job post-Vlogtober. 
but rest assured I will be back within the next week or two to share with you all of the upcoming goodies and all of the things that I've been working on since I last showed you my projects and things during this month. So if you are a returning viewer who's been following me since the beginning, thank you so much for your loyalty and for putting up with me. <laughs> and if you're new to the, the channel and you've just discovered me, um, thank you and thank you for giving me a try. I really appreciate everybody. Um, one of the stalwart um, original followers uh, or any of the new people. It's just brilliant to have you all here. Thank you so much. If you signed up to the mailing list um, and took part in the competition, thank you for that as well. Uh, and thank you for all of your lovely likes and interactions and comments. It's been absolutely brilliant reading everything. I haven't had time to reply to many people. And I'd like to think that I'll get a chance to do that. I don't know whether I will or not, but <laughs> the intention is good. So uh, I shall shortly be taking down all of the Halloween decks and getting the house tidied up and prepared, ready for all of the Christmas stuff. We have to wait until after Cosmo's birthday though, which is late in November. So anyway, I've digressed again. What I was trying to say was thank you so much for joining me throughout Vlogtober. Uh, it's been an absolute joy to record this and um, to, to, to interact with you every day and share things. And I'm really looking forward to having a break. I'll be honest, it does. It is quite a lot every day of, of a whole month. But I'm even more excited about coming back and doing it for Vlogmas. So I shall blow you all kisses and say thanks so much once again and I'll see you all in the next week or so. Ta-ta for now, my lovelies. <laughs>